we're in the middle of picking season now and hopefully we'll pick right up until, right through up until September. I think it's the best thing that ever came to Hopewell. Some of the younger fellows are doing up to 60 hours a week, working Saturdays and Sundays, that's unheard of. The people's enthusiasm towards the farm and, and, um, and what's actually happening is great. The focus is, is to become financially uh, viable as, as a farm, standalone without funding, uh, which is, I think, as far as I know, is, uh, is one of the first in the horticultural industry within Aboriginal communities. Through the employment creates responsibilities and the responsibilities get projected onto, onto the kids and it's a generational change. It's, it's not just about this project here and now, it's about future. It's a good opportunity for the whole you know, community as well. I think it was one of my first um, full-time employment I got at um, Living in Hope earlier. Employment for, not just only for us who are working here now, but for others who are in the near future and, and the younger generations and stuff. The saying is hope bowl goes bananas, but um, uh, they're definitely not going bananas, but they're growing them, so it's great. I can't emphasise enough the, the, um, the importance of, of this project and, and what it brings as different to any, anything else that has ever happened you know, within the community and the, the spirit that it brings to the community is great.